Hi, I'm Ben Gill, and this is the Behind the Scenes for Recycling Adventures Episode 6, which is called number 152, I think. Uh, and I'm Peyton Momberger. I shot a little bit of this, and uh, there he is. This is, this is him right here. I'm in the yeah, I'm behind the scenes. I'm <laughs> holding the green screen right now. Um, this is our cat Luca, and um, he's wearing a bear mask that we made for him because we had to cut a bear head off of a a, a bear, a stuffed bear, for for one of our other videos. So we hollowed out the head, and it makes a beautiful lion mask. Slash bear mask for Luca, and he was very—he was a very good at actor. He's become a—I think he's the most recurring actor on the recycling uh -huh. adventures, really, so far. He's had two or three episodes now. Yes, I think this is the direct sequel to him underneath the the pantry. All right, and then we have. I'll show you the other green screen shot. That's me. It's not nearly as cute or exciting, but this is... This is me. Setting up the green screen. Our wrinkly green screen. Yep, yeah, that's me. Alright, and... So basically, Peyton made these, these HUDs from a picture <laughs> on on the internet and made them 16 by 9 so we could use them. So yeah, this this one with nothing and then this one with the fight menu and this one with a blank space for the moves. And we brought them into After Effects. That was like 20 solid minutes of hard work. <laughs> yeah, so we found this beautiful font set on on the internet. I'm using Pokemon TTF. For the for the the font, yes, and this is the file, right? So we have basically just following these reference videos, very very uh, to the T. This is the beginning, right? Yeah, fun fact: that font uh, I down I found it supposed to be for the third generation of games, but I don't really think they've changed that much since the first generation, which we modeled the UI after. So, so it's a little amalgamation of Pokemon generations for you diehard fans. Yes. Yes. All right, so we have this this one, which is Peyton uh, killing an Eevee. And we use this for the beginning, this thing, and um, the, the camera shake when he gets hit. Um, and then this is... This is the reference video we used for the wipe. And then this one is the confusion one. Alright. So I'll show you the wipe first. It's pretty straightforward, it's just me copying exactly what theirs was. So it goes gray, black, white, white black, white, just keyframing a white and black solid, and then that like following the wipe. And then, this is the, the pretty one, right? So we have trainer, which is me, if you believe it, and then we have Luca, and to make them look pixely, all we did was well, sorry, um, we have put a mosaic on it, which makes him look a little pixely. I tried to, to keep him as realistic as possible so you could tell he was cute, but that's all there was, and I boosted the contrast a buttload. And then... Basically, we put the fonts in the in the right place, and a lot of keyframing and making sure they were the right length. Yeah, 
You didn't get with the voiceovers in the final product? No, I cut the voiceovers because I'm awkward. <laughs> and we have these... Like, we have this one, which has just some health solids that are animated to go down. And then we have um, this number comp that goes down also. It's very exciting. You can get the medium in uh, almost mm -hmm. dead colors, right? Oh, yeah. I used reference images to match the colors. Where is that one? Yeah, I got the change to color. Keep framed up. It even shows it. Look, there's there's the orange, and there's the red. Wow. Yeah. It's a very exciting project. We played a lot of Pokemon to research. I'd never heard of uh, these Pokemon before, before we were commissioned to do this. Yeah, I'd never heard of Pokemon before, but then I was like, someone someone said something. They said uh, the word. Someone sent me a parcel with a uh, Game Boy uh, SP. I'm not sure what the SP stands for. Uh, and a uh, Pokemon Yellow version that I played uh, for about six months before we did this project. And uh, it really helped develop the look and the feel of it. And uh, I enjoyed the games. I enjoyed the games. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. I mean, I'd see some people playing it, like, you know, just a cult following. Like, I don't, I don't think a lot of people play it, right? I don't think, yeah. I don't think a lot of people have heard of Pokemon. I hear is that is that uh, is that Chinese for uh, pocket monsters, or is it one of those other one of those other uh, Chinese countries? One of those other Chinese countries. Oh, uh, yeah, one of those other Chinese <laughs> countries. All the other countries that are Chinese, other than China. All right. Well, this is this is the hyper beam effect. Um, we basically just took a, a little sliver of Luca's video where he gets up, and then I used a reference image. This beautiful thing of a Gyarados hitting a seal. And I made it with a shape layer. And then I decided that I should have a hole through my stomach when he hits me. So... You have graphic, that's... Yeah, it's pretty graphic. For our younger viewers, may oh, you might want to look away. Uh, yeah. If you just ate, you might want to just pause, pause the video and watch it later. But here's the take thirty minute break. This is the holy trainer. That's what these are called. You get it? You get oh, it, wow. Peyton? Witty. Yeah, these are witty layer names. Naming. Yes. So it's just split in half. So one side will have it, and one won't. And then where's where's this meat layer? Peyton, where is it? I don't know. Where'd you get that meat from? Where did you get that? That's this is just a picture of. Meat. Look, this is called meat pick. Look at oh, it. Oh, wow. Look at it. That is just ground beef. Yeah, it's just a big old picture of it. And I mosaiced it also so that it would look pixely. And I just put like an outer ring and then like. I'm glad we have yeah. a, you know, a meat reference picture. Yeah. For future projects. We can include meat a lot more. Yeah. We should do a whole episode just about meat. Hannah. Hannah would love to do that. Yeah, Hannah would, would love to be the star. And then I die. We actually... It's, a, it's an upbeat ending. Yeah, it's an upbeat ending. You compared know. to like some of our other more uh, haunting episodes. We hadn't really thought out this, this bit at all, really. We, we knew we were doing a Pokemon thing, and we filmed Luca, and we filmed me. But we literally had no idea what, what we were going to do with the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we... we I think we just sort of collectively decided, oh, Ben should just die and it ends. Yep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It was actually kind of hard to get the sound effects for all this stuff. I would think they'd have, like, a good library of them, but it was kind of difficult. It's very, this is very exciting, isn't it? Yeah, the original 300-page uh, script called for uh, Luca to evolve after this battle, but it, we felt that it uh, changed the pacing of the film. And, uh, not to, not in a good way. And, uh, oh. I just, yeah, it's so I'm in the Matrix. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, this episode. And, um, I think Hannah and I are going to be famous actors, actors and actresses one day because, oh, see so here it says. Directing you was a privilege. Yeah. Because we are both, like, fantastic. 
aren't we? Yeah, and Corey, our audio guy, is uh, oh, hiding yeah. in the bush. Corey is hiding in the bush, and I actually hug him in this scene. Fun fact. I hope that was slightly helpful. Um, this is Ben and Peyton signing off. Stay classy. Check back uh, next week for another one, I guess. Yeah, may- uh, maybe. We'll, maybe, yeah. We'll try. We'll think about it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Never mind.